It's that time of the year again. Varsity Soccer back on Orient Neighborhood Television for our Game of the Week, Seaholm versus Lake Orient. A chilly April 16th. Uh, this spring has been an odd one so far. We're about midway through the uh, month of April. Very chilly out here for the, these <laughs> soccer players. Windy, cold, wet. Today we get a nice sunny day, but it's... Uh, it's a chilly out here with the wind blowing. You're going to hear it on our microphones today. But yes, yeah, Seaholm comes into this uh, matchup sitting at 1 3 and 1 on the season. Their lone win was against Waterford Mod, a 7 and 0 blowout. Losses are to Pioneer, Berkeley, Stony Creek, and Troy. And Troy took them down, I believe, 5 to nothing. Goals are tough to come by for Seaholm. And they're going to have to uh, really work overtime to get some of those uh, goals in today because the Dragon defense is stellar. Though the Dragons are sitting at 0-3-1 on the season, the, they're very competitive and there are no blowout losses on their schedule. Dragons, uh, all, all the games for the Dragons have been decided by one goal. So the defense of Lake Orion is legit and the Maples are going to have to work overtime to get anything behind the net. We'll be back after this short break. Soccer's next. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> All right, kickoff about to take place here at Dragons Stadium. That wind is blowing. You see the jerseys for the Dragons in the green jerseys today. Uh, whipping out there in the, in the uh, wind. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, bringing you varsity soccer action here at Lake Orion High School, and we're underway here. In goal for Lake Orion is Kylie Kapitsky. The junior has been a uh, a staple between the pipes for Lake Orion, um, I believe since she's a freshman. So junior, looking at the roster here for Lake Orion, um, loaded with sophomores and juniors, one lone senior, Katie Broth, oh, excuse me, and Aaron Regalia, two seniors, one freshman, Maya Patil. The rest are loaded with juniors. And uh, so that bodes well for the future of this program. Um, again, the Dragons come in sitting at 0-3-1, but you look at how that happened, <laughs> and every goal or every game is by one goal. Um, just heartbreaking losses, just tough ones. So here's Seaholm with a free kick after the penalty. Lob in, high, Archer, bounce, skip, and nearly in. Oh, it dribbles in. Is that, oh, my word. 38-51, Seaholm gets on the board early. Here's a replay of it. You see the skip miss played by Kapitsky, and it goes in, just dribbles in. 38-51. And I didn't get the, the, the jersey number for Seaholm, and I don't have rosters, which is typically the, typically the case early in the season. It's tough to get rosters for the away team, so we'll do the best we can. But Dragons in an early hole here in this contest. Surprisingly so. Dragons on the move, trying to kick it up in the middle. Cleared out by Seaholm. Dragons working that right side, finding the open. Nice feet in the middle. Tried to redirect. That's a great play by uh, Tabish, number 22 on that far side to get that, uh, that scoring opportunity on. Nice crowd on hand for this one, all bundled up and cold. You see the winter jackets and the, the, the tumblers, insulated tumblers with coffee and hot chocolate in them. It's cold out here. Dragons moving the ball again, looking to switch up the field. They find some room to roam over there. 
and taken down hard by Seaholmes 14. That'll be a free kick coming. If you're new to uh, Dragon Soccer here, especially the women's team, uh, they're very good on set pieces. So this is a, a good setup here for Lake Orion to try to get on the board. Corner kicks and uh, set pieces are very, uh, uh, Dragons execute those very well. So here's uh, Verlinden, Addison Verlinden, sh rocket shot. Whoa, that thing dipped at the end, very nicely done. And we're going to call it a quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. <laughs> scoring chance for Seaholm here, looking to split the D, one on three. Number 19 showing her wheels, going to the right side of the right foot, check center, and a live, and a, whoa, nice move. Couldn't get it to the left foot to shoot, but what a play by Seaholm. Yeah, Seaholm comes in 1-3-1, one, and one, but do not sleep on them. They had two games that were blowouts, um, giving up five goals to Troy and I believe seven goals to uh, Ann Arbor Pioneer. But uh, so far they've come to play. And the pace of this game is uh, a back and forth affair, which makes it good for the fans. Sent down range by number 12. For Lake Warrion, that is not on my roster. Ella Guerra, maybe. Jersey 12 on the JV roster. Maybe they moved her up. Hope that's accurate. Doing the best we can here. Time continues to roll. This play nearly. Nice support and an over the top pass to number six. Nicely done, they're gonna call that off sides. Dylan Verland in the junior um, was in the clear for a reason. Offsides call. The Maples bring the ball up for the free kick. We've seen uh, Seaholm be able to tack over the top right down the middle. Nice delivery. Might have a tailwind on that one. Chased down by 22 once again. Tabish sends it in the middle and scrum for it. Seaholm comes out with it. Seaholm's on the move coming near side. Little too much speed on that pass and it's out of play. Throw in coming for Lake Warrior. Addison Verlinden with the honors. Down the line. Nice turn by number 20 for the Dragons. Butke. Gabriella. Gabriella Butke, the junior. A lot of experience on this Dragon squad. Like I mentioned in the open, a lot of juniors and a handful of sophomores. So this team has been playing together for a while. Scrum four, trying to come out with it. Who wants it? Fighting out there is number six. That's for Landon again. Just had the really nice uh, free kick. Play continues. The whistles you hear are uh, the, the local varsity lacrosse match behind us at the football field. Dragons trying to go over the top again. Knocked out by Seaholm. This played there by number 20, trying to get that one is Gabriella Butke. She is everywhere so far in this match. Very active. Tight defense by Lake Orion. Couple headers looking to settle this one down. Seaholm looking for support. They get it from the netminder. Not the greatest clearing, but it makes it to midfield. Coming near side, trying to turn on his 19. Who's 19? That's uh, Lillian Brodowski. She's a sophomore. One of only four sophomores on this squad. Oh, actually, five sophomores. Nice free kick, getting distance on those, just off target slightly. Two teams trying to 
settle in here, trying to figure out what do we have here, what's going on. Dragon so far looking to attack on that left side, or excuse me, the right side of that Seaholm defense. Physical play out there. Of course, that would be ex expected from these two OAA teams. But again, Birmingham Seaholm gets on the board early. 38-51 on a kind of a mishandled play by the uh, Dragon goalkeeper. Number one, Kylie Kapitsky. Something you don't see that often out of that, uh, out of uh, the Dragon Netminder. Out of play on Lake Orion. Seaholm with the throw in. Push in the back. Dragons being very aggressive out there. Cleared out by number 12. I have her as Ella Guerra. And out of play. And I can't. Yep, it's a throw win. Across that end line there. Ooh, dangerous turn inside the 18. Trying to get it in. Centering pass, floating on in. Dangerous, get those cleats down. Dragons with it, trying to clear. Nice footwork by number eight to clear that one out. Nicely done. Libby Aker. Nice feed up the right side, but intercepted by number 16 for Seaholm. Nicely done. Good defense by the Maples. Spring sports is underway here at ONTV. Varsity, varsity lacrosse, soccer, um, softball, hopefully some baseball. We'll see what happens. The weather's been kind of wonky. It's got to warm up. Uh, hypothermia for our crews is not a good thing. So um, head on over to OrionOnTV.org and check out our video on demand page for uh, the most recent games in our lineup. You can also watch them on Comcast Channel 10, 18 TU versus Channel 99. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. for our game of the week. Always trying to bring you new games in the spring season. Always feels like the spring season is so short. So we got to get our games in as uh, fast as we can and layer up <laughs> in our winter gear in April. <laughs> And then you hope for a day that's 80 out there. So we'll do the best to get get as many games in as we can. So far we have a, a tight one here between your hometown Dragons and Birmingham Seahome. Nice speed up that right side, 19. Looking to do some damage. What can you do? Nice defense out of play. Should be a goal kick coming. Nice hustle with number 19 on that left side. Lillian Bardoski showing her wheels. Goal kick coming here for Seaholm. Dragon offense is pushed up nice and tight. Ball gets to midfield looking for support. Dragon's resetting that offense, looking to turn and go. Gira trying to fight her way through that defensive push by Seaholm. Dragons still have it. Ooh, unfortunate deflection there. Seaholm in the clear. Can they get a shot off? Good closing speed by Lake Orions, number 24. Katie Broth saves one there. That one, oh, it was a two on one break. Wide open, ton of space. Seaholm uh, attacker couldn't get her feet settled to get a left foot shot on. And good closing speed by Broth to shut down that scoring attack. Gonna have to call that a good scoring chance, quality scoring chance for Seaholm. Tally two quality scoring chances each for these teams. One resulting in a Birmingham Seaholm goal. That one down range, you hear the wind picking up on our microphones and our camera. Coming near side, in the clear, nicely done. Looking for the left foot, cutting inside. Staying with the right, ooh. Just a bit offline on that angle on the pass. But that was a good rush, you know it's there. That's Gabriella Butke, number 21 to watch. She was in the clear again. 
Just couldn't get a shot off. But good defense by the Seaholm Maples. Foul called here on Seaholm. Free kick coming for Lake Orion. Addison Verlinden with the honors in the knee brace. Deflected out by Seaholm. Bredowski, number 19, with a throw in. They're going to call a foul on that. That would be a foul on Lake Orion. Free kick coming. Delay in the game here. I'm not sure what the pause is. Injured player has to be come off the field. Is that what it is? Referee is escorting the Seaholm player off, and then there will be a sub coming in. I think she was injured. Coach is looking at her. Looks like a shoulder. Checking that out. Hope she's okay. Hate to see any injuries, but we have a slight delay. And just waiting for the whistle for play to continue. Still paused here. That's one thing about uh, the soccer match. The clock continues to roll even on a timeout like this. Trying to figure out what the delay is. Let's go. Referee still talking to the sideline to the see home coach. Checking the clock, looking at the wrist, taking her time. Still waiting. There's the whistle, let's go. Nice two minute delay. All right, back to the soccer action here. ON TV's Game of the Week. Game of the Week's been uh, on the air here since, geez, 09. We brought to you Game of the Week. Um, what do we have, a substitution here before the throw-in. Late whistle. Referees don't want to uh, speak negatively on the referee, but uh, some of these whistles are a little bit delayed and trying to figure out what's going on here. All right, goal kick coming. Let's get this action underway. 26-19 left in the first half of play. Seaholm up on Lake Orion, 1-0. 38-51, kind of a, a mishandling of the ball by uh, Kapitsky. And the Dragons could not clear it, and it kind of dribbles in for a 1-0 uh, deficit here in the first. But credit Seaholm for sticking to it and coming out with fire to start. More substitutions for Seaholm coming. Number eight checks in for Seaholm. I believe that was the player that went out um, in the last delay. Now she's back. Looks like the injury was minor. Just check her out. Okay, goal kick coming after the deflection out of bounds. Good defense by 24. Katie Broth. And... Uh, Dragons trying to get some sort of rhythm going. We saw early on their first quality scoring chance, 22 up the sideline. McKenzie Tabish um, is a mis mismatched nightmare. She's got height and speed, and uh, she sent one across the uh, across the 18 and had a. Dragons just couldn't get a toe on it to get a, a solid shot on goal. Maples doing a good job splitting that defense. Oh, nice steal by five. Shot on goal wide right. Opportunity there for Seaholm. Boy, would they love to go up 2 nothing here on the road. Dragons have to be careful there. Number five for Seaholm, good footwork.
Deflection in favor of Seaholm again. And a no clearing uh, play. Oh, deflected out. Should be a throw in for Lake Orion. Ah. Let's take a look at Seaholm's uh, record. Again, Waterford Mott. Oh, they won 7 nothing. My apologies. They lost 5 nothing to Troy. Again, there's 22. We talked about her trying to find that right side, trying to chip on, and nobody there. And I think it was across the end line anyway. But you see the back door was covered uh, by Dylan Verlin in number six. She was there, but the Seaholm defense was established. Let's see, Seaholm, uh, the last game they played again, we mentioned, was Troy, a 5-0 oh, uh, spanking by the Colts. Uh, Stony Creek and Seaholm uh, played to a 1-1 tie. Um, and then Berkeley took care of Seaholm in a 3-1 affair. And then Ann Arbor Pioneer, uh, it was a 3-2 match. Um, Seaholm dropping away at Ann Arbor Pioneer. So kind of a a tough start to the season for the Seaholm Maples, just like Lake Orion. And I'm looking at the goals uh, for and against, and two goals, one goal, one goal. Besides that 7-0 blowout against Mott, it's, it's been tough sledding for goals for Seaholm. But they tallied one here in the early going of this first half at 38-51. Ooh, danger. Oh, um, Nearly misplayed by the defense. They got a toe on it to get it out of the way, but that was danger in the middle. We're seeing Seaholm attack that middle of the Dragon defense. And finding success. Dragons so far in the offensive end have not really done anything to threaten. Two quality scoring chances for three to three, like Orion's offense is just kind of still trying to find its way and get a balance. But you have to credit the uh, Seaholm defense to keep them off balance. Wind still blowing out here. You can even see the pine trees swing in the wind down the outside of the, uh, the field. Ooh, danger out front. No one there for uh, the Maples. Still in control here, moving on that far left side. Weaving through the defense and tapped out by Lake Warren. It should be a corner kick. First corner kick of the game. for either team. So this was the first corner kick. Let's see how Seaholm handles this. And you see the uh, corner flag there waving in the wind and the American flag in the back in the distance. So it's coming out of the north. Nice in bender, near side post, still alive in the box. Fighting for it, careful from that push from behind. Oh, header just wide right. Good attack by Seaholm. For fourth quality scoring chance there. Mm. Dragons were lucky they didn't get called for a push in the back inside the box. That's a PK all day. And luckily the ref let him play. We've seen uh, less get called in past matches, so Dragons are fortunate. Dragons just trying to clear it out. Looking to move it forward, and they do. Ooh. Coming in hot. Deflected out off of Lake Orion. It'll be sea home ball. Inside 20 minutes, 1940 left in this first half. First minute 10 or minute nine, Seaholm gets on the board. And that's where he stands so far. Cleared up by Lake Orion. Tavis trying to run that one down and she has it. 
loses it, stumbles a little bit in the turf. Libby Acker trying to do something with it out of play. Just out of sorts here. Uh, usually the, the, the passing for Lake Orion is a little crisper, a little more on point. Everything seems to be a bit off. Inside 19 minutes. So far, Seaholm has been the better squad in this game. Time of possession is definitely in favor of the Maples. Their attack has been a little more organized. A Lake Orion throw in. Both teams be, seem to be pretty evenly matched in the speed department. Dragons with a throw in down this near side, trying to get something going. Dylan Verlinden fighting three Maples, support back to the keeper. Dragons still have it in their end, trying to get some setup. Nice tap, coming back near side, 19. And a steal. Bradowski just can't catch a break. She's in position, but solid defense on the, the moves aren't fooling the Maples defense. Looking for, Maples do a good job of just finding the little bit open space out there to maneuver, just tap it in space, chase, passing it to themselves. Doing a good job. Dylan Verlinden, number six, trying to get something going there, trying to run that one down. Headed back to the middle. Coming near side, number three. Don't have a number three. Lily uh, Franchek on the JV side. She looks like she was promoted up. Oh, sorry. Paisley Frisch, number three for Lake Orion. Junior. Dragons with the honor. That's Katie Broth with the throw in and continues on. Let's go. See what happens. Nice header into the open space. Deflected off by Seaholm. Dragon ball. Yes. Bardowski comes up with the throw in. This is a chance. Nice turn. Trying to get something on. Oh, and a streaking. Who's that? 22. Tabish. Right down the middle. Fighting on the end line, out of play. That'd be a goal kick. Good defense to ride the offensive player off the ball. Nicely done by Seaholm. As we approach 16 minutes left in this half. This half has gone by very quickly. Dragons trying to get some pressure on the ball. Aaron Regalia, 18 out there, banging shoulder to shoulder, trying to gain possession and gets the deflection out of play. Here are the Dragons. The near side, can't gather it in. Cleared up by Seaholm. Addison Verlinen, 16 with a throw in. Tavis trying to keep it in, can't do it. Maple's throwing it in, 15 to go. Each minute just ticking off the clock here in the first half with Seaholm's leading one nothing. Seaholm sends it down range. Dragons are there. Verlinden, Addison. Ooh, nice play over the top. Is that offsides? Yes, again, that's a second time. Dylan Verlinden, number six, was streaking. But that's heads up defense by Seaholm, pushing uh, her off sides. 
And just started a run just slightly, slightly early. It's two now. Two offsides calls on the Dragons on a on an over the top uh, feed to number six. Dylan was there just a bit early. From near Scott trying to do something with it is Brodowski. Trying to find Verlinden. Brodowski fighting. Out of play, throw in for Lake Orion. Eddie Verlinden throwing it in, trying to get something organized. The throw ins have not uh, been helpful for the Dragons. Uh, their, I'm, their attack, the solid attack, has been over the top from distance. Radeski coming near side, Verlinden. Oh, trying to thread a needle and just off target. She could have taken that up. Plenty of space on that left side to cut it in. She had a player on side. Bardeski pulled back, looking, looking to do some moves here. Pass the ball, looking for support. She finds it in number 12, Fredoranchik. Sends it up. Tabish trying to turn on it, loses possession. Good defense by Seaholm. Dragons putting a little more pressure in that Seaholm defensive end. Oh, nice turn there by Seaholm. They're on the move. Centering pass in the open and played by Kapiski nicely. That was onside. Nice run by number five for Seaholm, but Kapiski does the right job, comes out and attacks that ball and gathers it in. She sends it down range as we go inside 12 minutes here. Another danger, danger. Fifth quality scoring chance for Seaholm. Dragon still sitting at two. And no corner kicks. Verlinden, nicely done, inside. Can he tap it through? Yes! Finish. Goal. Number 10. Off the bench, Crawford. Goalkeeper didn't go down and she just stood there, tried to just use her legs to defend. She can use her hands, go down and get it, but Crawford cleans up. Dragons are on the board. At 11.38, levels this match at one. Nicely done by Crawford. Elizabeth Crawford, the sophomore. Right place, right time, and cleaned up. Uh, Crawford with the, uh, the thigh wrap, the white thigh wrap. First time calling Crawford's name, she gets a, she tallies one for the green and white. Dragon smartly kicked that one out of play. It's number 13. Let's see 13 on my list. Let's go over the JV squad. 13, Lauren Daniels maybe? Again, Seaholm's record is 1-3-1. One, one. Dragons are 0-3-1. Oh, Nice centering pass gathered in on that near side post by Kapitsky. See how the Dragons react to uh, leveling this match with that goal by Crawford. See if they can get uh, some energy going. Usually get a nice boost of energy after a goal. And the, the whole team rallies, says let's get another one. Oh, misplayed there by Tabish. Nice feed up that right side, but that should still in play, still in play. Centering pass, boy, that's surprising that hung on like that. Nicely done by the Lake Orion Dragons centering. And pressure on the Seaholm goalkeeper. Four quality scoring chances now for Lake Orion. High short kick. Dragons look to jump it. 
Trying to get possession of that ball. Libby Anchor out there doing her job, number eight. Oh, nice turn. Dragons, danger five is just a pest. She is in the right place at the right time. Nice quick turn. Dragons are looking for an offsize call. Not going to get it. Nice and clean. Throw in for Seaholm here at 9.33 left in the half. See that corner flag. Now the wind's coming out of the east. Trying to set a ring pass in the 18. Dragons trying to clean it up. They do, looking to move for Linden. Nice move by Verlinden. Nice step over, trying to feed it up. Finding the space, they do. Crawford with it. Trying to close on that one. See whom knocked it away, but Dragons are finding the open space in the middle. Attack that middle. We saw them attacking the far right side and the near left, but the middle looks like it could be open. Nice turn by Seaholm. Again, they're on the attack. Deflected out. Corner kick coming for Seaholm. Second of the night for the Maples. And they have the wind at their back as we saw the wind is coming in from the east now. It is can't make up its mind what it's doing. Should have a tailwind coming their way. Last time the corner kick dropped near side post and had a chance. Again, short kick. Got a little too much uh, top spin on that one. See home with it. Still in attack mode here at eight minutes left in this first half. Tied at one. Dragon defense back, all packed in tight in the 18. Trying to get some sort of offense going here in the late stages of this first half. But around chick number 12 sends it down range. Tabish fighting with number 14 over there in the far side. Tabish comes out with a win. Crawford with it. Tabish open in the middle or on the side there. Screamer low to the ground. Make the keeper get down and make that save. Nicely done by Lake Orion. Passing leads to scoring. That was a good one-two punch with Crawford and Tabish there on that left side. And I like that the goal or the uh, the shot was low to the ground. Oh, wide open. Here's Crawford in the clear. One-on-one. -on -one. Can she get a buyer? Nice move. She's in the open and taps it in. How did she get clear? Second goal of the night for Crawford. Here's a replay of that. Nice feed in. Oh, yeah, she's on side. Number four was the back uh, defender. Very nice. And again, in the middle, keeper had no chance. One on one, she came out to cut the angle, but she couldn't come out of the box. Got her. Two to one, Dragons. Nicely done by the sophomore. The magic leg wrap doing its job tonight. Elizabeth Crawford, two goals in the first half for Dragons. Boy, what a change. Two unanswered. Two unanswered. Um, corner kick, I believe, for Seaholm right away on the attack. Time continues to roll. What a change of events here. I don't think Crawford started. She was, I didn't call her name at all, and all of a sudden here she is. Still has a little bit of limp um, on that uh, wrapped right leg. Nice feed over the top. A little bit too much mustard on that, and it's out of play. Should be a goal kick for Lake Orion. Exciting first half. First goal by Seaholm was 38-51, a minute nine into the game. Since then, the Dragons' defense has held strong. Seaholm is attacked. They've had opportunities. Here we go again. Seaholm. No whistle. Play continues. Number nine shed the defender with a little push, but hey, play continues. 
5.30 to go in this first half. Can see home answer. Two to one. Two unanswered goals by Lake Orion when it looked like their offense sputtered. Got a spark off the bench by Crawford. But also Dylan Verlin in number six. Nice pass uh, to the open Crawford to find her to get her in. Nicely done. Or was that number eight? Libby Acker. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's call a uh, Acker. Libby, number eight, on the feed. And, or Dylan Verlinden. The six and the eight look similar. Um, Dragon still attacking here, looking for something. Another offside call for a streaking Dylan Verlinden. Getting frustrated there. That's her third offside call of this half. She knew she was in the clear, but they called her off just a bit too early. Feed in the middle. Good defense by number 20, Gabriela Butke. Number 20. Oh, here we go. Crawford again in the clear. Can she get a shot off? Right foot chip on and deflected out. Should be a corner kick for Lake Orion. She's looking for a hat trick in the first half. Yeah, showing a little tenderness on that uh, that wrap. She's talking to Dylan Verlinden out there going, yeah, that one hurt. Corner kick. First one of the day for Lake Orion. That is Addison Verlinden with the honors here. Tailwind. Chip on high. Oh, through the head. Goal. Score. What a shot. High. Header. No, it's off the shoulder. How did that go in? Seaholm's goalkeeper missed it. 3.35 left in the first. And number 20. Tallies the third unanswered goal for Lake Orion. That's Gabriella Bucky. Nicely done by the junior to clean that one up. But you got to give it to Addison Verlinden, the, uh, the junior, number 16, with the feed. And it was just a bit high for the Maples goalkeeper. Went right through her hands and came down. It almost looked like an own goal by Seaholm, but they'll tally it on number 20. She'll take it. Dragons, three unanswered after going down early in this first half. Three to one lead. Three first half goals. I don't think I've seen the Dragons do that in a while. Usually they're their second half team, and but we talked about set pieces again. Corner kicks, pay dividends. For Lake Orion, we saw a free kick earlier that uh, caused some trouble for the Seaholm defense. And the corner kick, the first of the night, nets a goal to put the Dragons up 3-1. to one. We'll give away danger in the middle. Dragons defense is there as we approach 2.20 left here in this first half. Back and forth affair here. Oh, nice steal by the Maples. They have a chance here. No call, no foul. Play continues. Seaholm faithful looking for a foul there. Outside inside action here for Seaholm. And nicely done by number seven for Lake Orion. To clear, that's Evelyn Taylor to clear that one out. And Crawford's on the move. With a flat tire on her right leg. He's got a wrap on there and still causing havoc out there is number 10, the sophomore. Aaron Regali, number 18, throws it in. Got a dragon, uh, let's go dragon call here by the faithful here, liking what they see here in the first half as they're approaching 115 left. Dragons, boy, they'd love to tally another one. Evelyn Taylor, number seven with the honors on the throw in. Not getting it, uh, the announcements on the subs. Usually we hear the uh, PA announcer tell us the subs are in. 
Nicely done by number 20. Once again, being passed, Gabriella Butke. Her size out there is uh, showing a little bit of difficulty for that Maple defense. Takes up a lot of space out there. 39 seconds. What can we say to sum up this first half of play for Lake Orion? Bend with don't break defense after the uh, surprising goal at 109 into the game by the Maples. The Dragons defense has uh, locked the Maples down pretty well. They've had chances, but the Dragons have turned them away. And that should do it for the first half here at Dragons Stadium. Dragons were down one nothing early. Scoring three unanswered to Roar back to take a two goal lead. We'll be back after this short timeout with his second half. You're watching Dragon Sports on Owen TV. Orion Neighborhood Television is your community media outlet. Our mission is to empower community members and groups to create, communicate, and connect through television and video production. For more than 35 years, ONTV has offered video production classes to residents of all ages and provides them with the equipment and facilities to produce their own programs. Not only are residents encouraged to produce programs, but ONTV staff produces programs that promote local nonprofits and community groups like the Chamber of Commerce, the Orion Township Public Library, the Lake Orion Lions Club, and the Orion Arts Center, to name a few. ONTV has been um, very important for all our events. We have our community Dragon on the Lake and Art and Flower Fair. We also have our holiday market, and um, they're always out there promoting us and um, covering our events, but also promoting through um, on-site interviews at the studio, which are very helpful. And to have the footage after for us to be able to use in our marketing materials and to put on our Facebook, it's been really beneficial for us. Yes, ONTV has just been a great partner. Um, we're so thankful for them. And what they do is they really come to all of our events, especially our ribbon cuttings, Having their ribbon cuttings documented so that they can archive it, put it in their business history, post it on social media means so much to our small business owners. They've really never seen anything like that before and that's what's so unique about the Orion community and ONTV is that they're always there for us. Last year they did 18 ribbon cuttings. They stay from the start to the finish. They interview the small business owners and we all just couldn't be more grateful. That exposure is just critical to us. We have to get the word out there about how people can volunteer more. That That's a, a, a thing that's becoming less and less important to people in this world. And the more we can get the word out with your help, the better off we all are in the community. The staff ventures out into the community to cover events like parades, festivals, concerts, and high school sports. And for more than 30 years, ONTV has provided the equipment and staffing needed to televise township and village meetings live to Lake Orion residents. In Michigan, it's a unique model, and I don't know how it works in other states, but in Michigan specifically, we don't have to pay to put the equipment in our, our facilities that, so we can broadcast these meetings. And government transparency, it's not just a buzzword, it's, it's required uh, in today's day and age. Um, but the fact that our residents aren't paying for that through their property taxes is, is, is invaluable in my opinion. The fact that it's funded through these franchise fees that the cable companies have paid forever, um, a few pennies literally on, on cable bills helps fund uh, this really important, um, you know, government isn't trusted anymore. This is one way um, people trust us because we're closer to them, but everything we do is in the light of day. And it's thanks to this funding that exists, a uh, really unique mechanism that allows us to continue to, to give that to our residents. I think it's mission critical for clarity, honesty, and uh, uh, just getting the message of local government out to its residents. I mean, social media has become a way to do that, but on TV is on social media. So uh, I, I don't think that we can broadcast meetings in any other way or better uh, at a better rate or a better price than what ONTV provides. 
ONTV also provides the video equipment that Lake Orion High School students use as they prepare for a career in broadcasting. The franchise fees, the PEG fees uh, that fund ONTV and the Cable Commission actually benefit and fund our program as well. Uh, we're able to ask for grants from that organization, from ONTV, from the Cable Commission to help us. Uh, we're very fortunate to have one of the best broadcast programs in the state, if not the country, um, and they're a huge funding revenue source for us uh, to be able to provide our students, past and present, with amazing technology that's very comparable to what the, the, the professionals use in the industry. ONTV's podcast studio and training give producers an opportunity to educate and entertain listeners. To sign up for classes or for more information, call 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org. Second half about to get underway here at Dragon Stadium. Dragons up three to one over the Maples from Seaholm. Three unanswered goals to close out that first half. Two by Crawford. Her first at 11.38 to get the Dragons on the board. Her second at 6.28 left. As the Dragons uh, defense has to stand tall here early in this second half. Kapitsky is there to wrap it up. Another quality scoring chance for the Maples. Let's see, three corner kicks for Seaholm. Six quality scoring chances also for Seaholm. Dragons have seven quality scoring chances, one corner kick. And one corner kick led to the third goal in that first half. Let's see what happens here. Seaholm, their defense seems to be just solid enough that you surprised that the three goals went in. Tip Dragons trying to get over there. Is that a, that should be a throw in. Well, they're calling a corner kick it looks like. Dragons earned their second quarter kick of the night early in the second half. Nope, it is a throw in. My mistake. Oh, chip on. Oh, nearly got that one. Bouncing ball. Can't get a solid toe on it. Was that number three? Paisley Frisch thought she had something there. The junior. Got a toe on that one, but it was turned away and a foul called on the push. So, free kick coming here for uh, the Maples. Exciting first half of play. Started kind of shaky for Lake Orion. Like we mentioned, 109 into the contest. They go down one goal. And it was just on a misplayed, misgather by Kapitsky in the, in the net. Dragons respond late by the spark off the bench by Crawford, number 10. Elizabeth Crawford with a leg wrap. Looks like she is not starting this second half. Going to give her a break. But the substitutions in that later stages, that second half of that uh, first half, really changed the offensive float slightly. Uh, offsides calls were uh, cut down. They found open uh, space to roam and made the best of it. Tabish tries to feed in between. Room to roam there. Dispossessed are the Dragons, number 20, doing her part out there. Gabby Bucky with the goal at 335, trying to do something there, and it's turned away. Dragons with, uh, so far, I know we're only in the early stages of this second half, but the time of possession is quite high already. Ian Locke here for uh, Game of the Week. Owen TV's sports coverage brought to you by uh, Orion Neighborhood Television. Main studio located at 1349 Joslin Road at the Orion Center. 
If you're interested in working on games like this or you want to call play-by-play, -play, please give us a call at 248-393-1060. We're always looking for community members to take part and help us out uh, covering Dragon Sports. It's a lot of fun, and we could use your help. Throw in coming for the Maples. Trying to get settled. The bouncing ball out there, just get it settled down. The Maples. Was that knocked out by Lake Orion? Throw in coming. What's going on out there? Foul on Lake Orion. Free kick coming. <laughs> Story of the game off the bench. Number 10, Crawford. Two goals in the first half. Nice high feed into the box. Nicely done. Whoa, had to make that play. That's a tough one. Those high arcers. That was a great feed by Seaholm. Their set piece game is also very good. Kapitsky judged that one accurately and then gathered that one in. Another feed over the top, trying to attack that middle. We saw that strategy uh, uh, start up in the middle stages of the first half. Wide open. Number five is danger. Nice tap out. Kapitsky earning her... Uh, Earning her dinner tonight. She's doing a great job there. Shaky start at the, at, the, at the start of this game in the first half, but she has come up big so far in the early stages of this second half. Seaholm just looking solid. Dragons turning away those, those shots. Nicely done. Graves checks in for uh, for Lake Orion. Nice turn by Lake Orion's number six. That is Dylan Verlinden. She had a frustrating first half. Dylan did number six there fighting. Um, Three offsides call on her offensive rush. Got a little fr frustrated, but still keeping it together. And she's a veteran and knows what she's doing out there. Dragon's trying to get something going here deep in the Seaholm end. Throw in by Erin Regalia, number 18. See what she can do with it against the win. Trying to lob it in to Butkey. Tap back. Not much going here. Seaholm's are there. Seaholm's there, but they tap it out. Dragon throwing. Throw in here. Dragon still on the attack, trying to turn. Tap in the middle. Dragon's trying to get something going, trying to gather it in. Again, looking for that perfect shot. Just say, send it in. Across the end line. Let's see, do we get a corner kick here? Wind is picking up here. 32, approaching 32 minutes left. Corner kick, yeah, second of the night. Again, uh, number 16 with the honors, Addison Verlinden. We saw her earlier, the last corner kick Lake Orion had. It resulted in a goal. Opposite side of the field here. Let's see how she is sending it in. She's good with that right foot. Nice chip on high, right in the middle of the net. No one there to clean it up. Coming far side post. Tr crashing the net is 18, trying to get something going. Aaron Regali and it sends it. Sends it down to Auburn Hills <laughs> on a on a monster shot. Um, oh boy, 
Dragons had a chance there. Ball is bouncing all over the place. No one can get it under control. Seaholm sends it out of play. Verlinden here with the honors. Verlinden's had number 16 had a very nice game so far. Her and her sister have been very active out there. Number six and number 16. Oh, nice play. Does it get there? It does. Centering pass. Ooh. Just nowhere to go with it. That's number three, Paisley Fish. 18 in the clear. Dragons closing, though. Try to change direction. Nice defense by number 12 for Lake Orion. We'll take that all day long. Nadia Fedoranchik, experienced uh, varsity player. Called her name several times over the years. Who wants it? Trying to get control of it. Seaholm has it. Switching the field to no one. Out of play. A little too much on that one. Ten minutes gone in this second half of play. Dragons up 3-1 to one on Birmingham. If you're just joining us, the Seaholm Maples got up 1-0 at 109 of the first half. On uh, a miss. Uh, play in the uh, goal by the Lake Orion goalkeeper. Kind of a rare misstep by the experienced uh, goalkeeper. Dragons chip on wide right. My goodness, again. What can you say? 22, Mackenzie Tabish just misses. Tabish, I like her game. She's aggressive and uh, makes quick decisions. Sees the opening and takes it. Nicely done by number uh, number 22. Again, back to the scoring recap if you're just joining us. Dragon scored three unanswered goals in at the end of the first half. Elizabeth Crawford, number 10, has two goals on the night to get the Dragons back in this one. Seaholm trying to do something with it. Out of play, Dragon Ball. Got to see how Seaholm responds. Uh, they Just like in the first half, in the second half, they came out swinging. Attacked right away, went right, crashed that net right away and had a, a great chance to score, but was turned away by Kapitsky. And uh, they really haven't done anything since. Linden called on the fall or the foul. Frustration, a little setting in by Seaholm on the bumping and the out there. You got to keep your composure. Weird spin on the ball there. Dragons looking to get something going in the middle. Ooh, flat footed. Number nine was caught flat footed. That is Sofia Garcia, the sophomore. She was as a great pass in position if she's leaning forward. That's a different story. Tabish again on that far left side, being a pest. Crawford's back in the game with a leg wrap, nursing a, a, a bum thigh injury. Finding the open space there. Garcia coming near side, closing in on that. Verlind and finding space in the middle. Nobody crashing the net. Tabish tried to get there, but is just a bit tardy. Good vision by the attackers here for Lake Orion. Finding the angles. Just got to get the timing down and just off slightly. Where three goes to Paisley. Frisch goes down in a heap. No call, play continues. Still three to one here. Six minutes from the midway point 
of this second ha half. Dragons in command, two, uh, three, three goals to one. Crowd bundling up. It is a cold one. Sun, sun set down here, and it's chilly. Wind is still howling. And nicely done by Verlinden to deflect that off the Seaholm player. Lucky trying to chase that one down, number 20. Unable to do so, but it'll be a throw in here for Lake Orion. Gabriella Butke, this the junior. She has a goal. Got uh, she got the third goal for Lake Orion off a corner kick. Throw in. Hard win into the face. A corner kick. Third corner kick for Lake Orion. One first one led to look at that flag in that corner. It is brutal. Let's see how we do on the right side. Verlinden. Little mustard on it. Gets to the near side post and headed out. Another corner kick coming for Lake Orion. You can see that ball just die in the air. That wind just blowing. Everybody bundled up tight here. Looks like fall soccer, not spring. Little more mustard on it. Finds the, the middle of the net. Dragons get a shot, but it doesn't make it through that defense. And it's cleared up by the Maples. We have room to roam. And run down by Crawford, but it's in the clear end. Nicely done by the Dragon defense. That was a close one, but what can you say about Crawford 10? Again, just disrupting the timing of that play. And she's limping. Number 10. Two goals tonight. Doing what she can for her, uh, for her team out there. Dragons send it down range. Maples are there. Out of play should be a throw in for Lake Orion. Game of the week. 7 p.m. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays on Orion Neighborhood Television. Comcast Channel 10, AT&T vs. Channel 99, and live streamed on our website at orionontv.org. Also, if you have Apple TV, Roku, or Amazon Fire, you can watch all of our programming, our live streams, and our video on demand. Just go over to Add Channel and search for Orion on TV on your streaming service. And you'll have all of this Dragon soccer action, government meetings, plays, concerts, you name it, all in HD. Nice run up by the... That right side by number five for the Maples, but the defense sends it away. Crawford feeds a beauty between the defenses. Tabish on the move. Can she get the shot off? She does. Near side, just short. Nicely done by the Dragons. Tenth quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. Great feed by Crawford. Tabish knew what to do with it. Rolls in. Just near side. Good play by the goalkeeper for the Maples to cut that angle down. There wasn't really anything there on the near side post. And no backdoor opportunity for Lake Orion. But that was a great offensive rush there for the green and white. Coming near side. Dragons are feeling it. They want another one. Out of play. Dragons throw in. They move quickly. Throw it to Verlinden. One-on-one -on -one battle out there. Can she turn it? She does. Sends it on net. Oh, and headed out nicely by the Maples defense. Dangerous clearing uh, kick there by the Maples to leave it wide open. Verlinden didn't get all of that one. Crazy action here in the last 30 seconds. That was wild. That should be out of play in a... Goal kick coming here for the Maples, I do believe. What a what a sequence there for Lake Orion. Had uh, Seaholm on their heels there, but credit that Maple defense to standing tall and just doing what they can to clear that out. The 
Dragons have come alive here in the uh, since the last 11 minutes of the first half. Playing, playing with a better sense of urgency and speed and pace. Nice feed again on that right side. Dragons defense is there. Oh, tough shot. Oh, nice save by Kapitsky. Seaholm's going, what do we need to do to get another goal? Again, looking back at Seaholm's schedule. Minus the Waterford Mott uh, game, which they won 7 0. Uh, two, three, four. They've only scored four goals coming into this game. Their fifth was their tally in the first half. Dragons make a sub. It looks like Gabby Taylor's in. Crawford's still in there. See the leg wrap moving around. Dragons definitely have their substitute substitution patterns down. I want to make note, too, of the head coach, uh, Amanda Hutchison, new coach for Lake Orion. Assisted by Jordan Marchese. Hope I'm saying that right. Maya Chap checks in, the sophomore, number 14, to the game for Lake Orion. Whistle blows, throw comes. Dragons up two goals. Love to get another one. Seaholms had their chances. Good vision by their midfielders. Um... Their forwards are really getting out in space, but their midfielders are really delivering the ball on point. Just can't finish. Dragon's still alive here in the offensive zone. Some new faces out there, not the starters. Crawford couldn't cut that one too tight with that wrap on her leg and just let that one go. Dragon's still with possession. And cleared out by number seven for the Maples. Dragons with the throw in. That's Crawford with the throw in. Knocked out. That'll be a goal kick coming for Seaholm. See what happens here. 18.30 left in this second half. Dragons would love to get their first win of this season, especially against a division, a white division foe. Dragons are in the OAA white. Again, long feed. That's on side and in the clear a little bit. Closed out by seven. Nicely done on the defensive side. Evelyn Taylor. Butke chips it over. Oh. Looks like Gabriella Butke's been out there almost the whole game. Nice turn by 19. Maple's trying to do something with it. Turn and punt. Little shove from behind by Taylor. No call play continues. Nicely done by Taylor off the bench. The Maple faithful in the stands are getting a little restless, looking for some calls, and they get one right there. Horn blows substitution coming. Lob in in the box, nicely done, but Dragons looking for a yellow contact with the goalkeeper. Not going to get it. <laughs> I think uh, besides athle uh, being athletes, I think the, the second uh, option for soccer players these days is they're also thespians. <laughs> Dragons again making a move. Oh, Verlinden is itching for a goal. Nice delivery there. Nice closeout. Nice pressure. Dragons are doing a better job of taking what's given to them. They're not forcing anything. They're finding the open space and uh, making the right decisions. 
and putting pressure on that uh, Maples defense. Just out of play, throw in here for Seaholm. Good pass there by Seaholm, looking for the streak. Number five, I like her game calling. I, I wish I had a, a roster to uh, say her name, but number five for Seaholm has been everywhere out there. It's been, uh, she's been a, a solid Offensive option, oh, nice turn. Berlinden, chip on, make the goalie play it, and is, again, just keeping him honest. Call that a good scoring chance, how's about that? That's 11. Four corner kicks, 11 scoring chances. Boy, how the game has turned. Seaholm is dominating time of possession in the first half. Corner kicks. Scoring chances, and that script completely flipped at the 11 minute mark of the first with Crawford's first goal. Totally different Dragon team after that goal. Dragon's making some subs. Lily Bradowski checks in number 19. And Maya Patil also checks in for the Dragons. Verlinden running that one down. Foot Rice, she wins it. Chip off. That will be a still alive. Wow, how did that stay in? Looked like a corner kick coming for sure. Throw in for the Maples. Mm, good hustle there by um, Verlinden, by Dillon. Time continues to roll here. Wind continues to blow. Dragons continue to lead. Great game here tonight under chilly conditions here at Dragon Stadium. Varsity soccer action. Hope to bring you at least four games this season, weather permitting. And we haven't checked the schedule to see if the Lake Orion facility is on for districts or not. Nice, nice feed. Boy, Dylan Verlin and just itching for a goal. She was called for three offsides in the first half and was in the clear if that whistle doesn't blow. So now she's uh, taking it one-on-one -on -one and doing, doing a nice job on that near right side. Dragons really peppering the... Uh, Goalkeeper for the Maples. Ball bounces out. Dragons still have it. Garcia down the middle. Splits them. They're going to call off sides again. Oh, can't catch a break. Number six. Fourth off sides on Verlinden. It's almost comical at this point. But that's good defense, uh, good awareness on the back defensive line to push forward to put the offensive player off sides. But, oh boy, she walked in. There's a reason why she was wide open for days. And that's her fourth offsides call. Itching for a goal. Play continues. Maples trying to get it out of the end, and Dragons just being, just being Dragons out there, being pests. Number 14 doing her job, Maya Chap off the bench. I like the energy. Every Dragon, uh, starters and otherwise, have done a nice job. They, they, they're bringing the energy. No let up. But that's a veteran squad. For Linden, chip on in the middle. Bucky trying to chase that one down and out of play off the uh, end line. That should be a corner kick coming. Fifth corner for Lake Orion tonight. Crawford with the honors, even with the leg wrap. She's a left footer. Look at that wind right in her face. Can she get it there? Boom. 
And uh, she does near side. Tries to gather it in. Goes down in a heap outside the 18. No call. Play continues. Finds the open player. And Paul is all over the place here after that corner. So that wind really did impact that corner kick. Knocked it down. It is just... You can't get an understanding of the strength of this wind here tonight. Nice hustle, shoulder to shoulder. Number five, nowhere to go. Goal kick coming. Frustration shown by a little shove at the end. But good hustle by 24. Katie Broth, the senior. Doing a nice job. Time continues to roll. No scoring in this second half. The way the Dragons offense uh, came alive. Thought for sure they'd have more. Dragons taking their time on this goal kick. Bartke over to Tabish, up that left side, deflected. Sorry, that was Fedoranchik. Number 12. Coming to your side, Crawford. Two goals tonight with a leg wrap. Garcia coming near side. Chipped on deep. We've seen these long entry passes for Seaholm work to some extent, but they haven't been able to. It's the it's the feed into the box that they're having issues with, and the Dragon defense closes out very nicely um, to take the angles down and just disrupt the passing lanes. Crawford. Crawford showing wheels even with a bum uh, thigh wrap on, and I believe that will be a goal kick coming for the Maples. Let's see other games on the docket here for Lake Orion on Orion Neighborhood Television or other home games. We encourage you to come out and cheer these uh, student athletes on in person and support the band pro program by uh, buying concession stand uh, goodies. They have everything you could want uh, to enjoy a game out here and cheer on the, uh, the Dragons to a victory. Dragons will be home against New Baltimore Anchor Bay on the 19th. Owen TV cameras will be here for that one. And then they're at home again against Clarkson on the 23rd. A lot of home games crammed in their schedule early. And uh, Clarkston matchup should be a good one. Always good when you get crosstown rivals together. Always had uh, solid uh, games. Then the Dragons in the 25th are on the road against uh, Cranbrook Kingswood and at home against Northville on the 27th. Looks like a, okay, that's not at home. I do believe that is a tournament that they're in on the 27th. So they'll be back in the confines of Dragon Stadium to close out the month against Farmington. So a ton of home games here for Lake Orion. Then they're on the road for the for all of May until the season finale on May 20th, they host Flushing. So front-loaded home schedule on the road quite a bit in May. So like to get wins at home when you can get them because it's tough to win on the road in the OAA. All right, free kick coming here for the Maples at 7.15 to go. Two-goal lead here for Lake Orion. All the scoring came in the first half. Seaholm scored at 109 in the, in the start of this game. And since then have not really... I mean, they have threatened. Um, the Lake Orion uh, goalkeeper, Kapitsky, has done a stellar job in this second half. Uh, getting her hand on the ball, cutting the angles, doing a nice job. And... I'm going to say another foul on Lake Orion. Free kick coming. This is uh, 
opportunity here for the Maples. I don't know if it's a throw-in or a kick. They're taking their time to get the ball, that's for sure. Dragons will say, go ahead, take your time. Co clock continues to roll. All right. Right footer coming. Got the tailwind. See what happens. Can the Maples drop this one into the box? Up high. Nicely done. Sinker still alive and save. I don't know how Kapiski saw that one for that save, but give it to give it up to number one on that jer uh, the number one jersey. Doing a nice job. That is at least four hand uh, hand saves tonight. Verlinden. Number six looking for a score. Four offsides calls and a near and a nearly. Chip on. Ooh, dangerous bounce. She collects it in. And who's there? Crawford. The disruptor out there just wreaking havoc on that defense. I like Dylan Verlinden and uh, Crawford out there on the attack. Those two, relentless. That's a foul, easily called. Danger, danger now. That's a that's a dangerous spot to have that free kick in. We've seen Seaholm get it in there, and um, Kapitsky has to do her job beyond point. Here we go. Oh, Wall does its job, and it's Crawford. Took one to the belly. Feed in the middle. Good job by Crawford. The, the Dragon Wall did its job. Nicely done. Wind is picking up again. You hear the howling on our microphones blended in. <laughs> it is windy. Can Seaholm cut into this lead? Four minutes left in this second half. They've had their chances, but the Dragon defense has been there. Dangerous spot to be in. Just a heap of bodies. Maples hitting the turf. Dragons continue to play and out of play. It'll be a throw in for the Maples. Maples fan just hoping for something. Hip to hip contact, no call. Good defense by number seven. Evelyn Taylor being aggressive out there. Push, pushing it around, pushing around. Gotta earn it. Nice defense, blocking that ball out of play. Lake Orion ball, nicely done by Taylor. That is a veteran play right there. Just stay in your ground, oop. Looks like an errant deflection, but the defense was there. Singing up the middle, Garcia trying to get that one through. Looks like she's battling for it, loses possession, number eight. Excuse me, that's Libby Aker. Dragons with it, pull back nicely done to get out of the way. That's five. That's uh, Goshka, if I'm saying that right. Nice long feed. The wind knocked that one down. Maple's looking for support. Can she get there? No. Mm. Good run here by the Maples and cleared out by the green and white. Nicely done. Two Approaching two minutes left. Boy, that was a quick two minutes. Maples just looking for anything now. They're going to start pushing the defense up. Oh, still alive. Cleaned out nicely by... Kapitsky still alive, that ball is, and should be able to gather that one in. Nope, Dragon defense is there. Oh, danger. Centering pass to no one. Good defense, my goodness. Dragons just happen to be in the right place at the right time. Seaholm's just got to be fr frustrated to no end. One 
Almost 90 seconds left in this game, just kind of a frantic back and forth. Dragons do have a two goal lead, so hands are up, nicely done by Taylor. Like her game off the bench. Aggressive on defense, what'd she do? I miss what happened there. That looked clearly off Lake Warren, but they get the throw in. Approaching 60 seconds left in this game. Dragons up two, no call. Bodies all over the place. Inside one minute. Dragons content just to kick it long. Chew up that clock, just let that ball run. Centering pass. Gathered in, who's there? Crawford just being a pest. I think I know who my uh, starting uh, attackers would be. <laughs> um, but I like the way they're mix it, mixing it up. Uh, Coach uh, Hutchinson doing a nice job mixing up these lines. You get a, a variety of starting off and, and then flipping the script in a way, and it kind of it would throw the other team off because they get settled in in a certain style of play. Then you bring in some speed and power, and it's worked. It's been great. Five seconds to go. Dragons are going to go out here with a W at home. Good to see the win, their first one of the season, and they are happy as they should be and uh, get their first win of 2024 against a quality opponent in Seaholm. Dragons go to 1-3-1 one, and one on the season against the OA White opponent. And uh, two goals by number 10, Elizabeth Crawford, at 11:38 and 6:28 of the first half. And she got the game winner, and then they capped it off with a goal at 335 of the first half by number 20, Gabriella Butke. That's all for us here at Dragon Stadium. I'm Ian Yalak, your announcer. We'll see you next time. Go Dragons!